Hey peeps, Game of Dry here. Welcome back to Timberborn. In the last edition, we created our temporary district here for an experiment which we have now completed. All our beavers have gone back home, so we can now get rid of this. It's done its purpose, and we can return that to the the current vault district. And I say current vault district because that's going to change. This is going to be the staging district where goods are produced. And the vault district is going to be up here. So we need to get that up and running. We also need to get this up and running, this staging area up and running. And we need to start the process of um, building infrastructure such as the lumber mills and the gear workshops and the paper mills and the printing presses. Now the way I plan on doing this is um, obviously to get printing presses we need paper, to get paper we need lumber and logs and the, sorry the gears we need lumber so we're going to need a ton of logs and so we're going to start off by temporarily creating, and I use the word temporary a lot, but this is a moving feast. We're going to be changing things around quite a bit as we go. Uh, we're going to create a load of lumber storage here. So I'm going to just create a new path along there and clear out this path like so and fill that with lumber. No, not that's not what we want. Uh, lumber log piles. And that'll give us uh, a decent working amount of logs, I think. Now, to get these log piles, we're going to need beavers to chop down the logs. And currently we have in this district 24, well, 24 to 27 adults. Um, that's probably enough for now. We've got 13 unemployed. So we will get them working immediately on chopping this wood down. Um, I am a little concerned that this isn't going to be a big enough area. We'll might change things around and cross that bridge when we come to it. So let's get our lumberjacks in place and we're going to position them around the forest area. Why doesn't that one go into the forest? I'm not quite sure why that stops there. Oh, it doesn't. I'm sorry. It's just that I can't see it. It, it stops over here. Uh, it's hidden behind the trees. OK, so that, that's OK. And we'll put one over this side as well. There. And recreate that path in the correct manner. Closing up where we had the gate previously. OK, so that should give us a good amount of lumber coming in. This guy is going to need a bridge and we will just put in a platform there for him. And same for this guy here, which we'll put there. OK, let's get this running and let's get our beavers working and put a path on top of these. And they should start chopping in the morning. That would be the idea. Now, I was going to make a forestry area over, sorry, a farm area over here. But I think I'm not going to do that now. I think what I'm going to do is leave this as the farm. And we will just move food over to here. So... We're currently moving berries 
and in our experiment we found that berries don't really do much so we will stop that but we will add carrots in so that we have carrots cooked potatoes and bread coming into to here and to ensure that they stay healthy we will create a new warehouse which is just for food so uh, storage a large warehouse will be good enough I think and we'll put that right there and that will just be once that is built that will just be for the uh, food okay we're going to need planks coming into here as well temporarily otherwise they're not going to be able to build that okay hang fire as soon as that's built we'll move on right so that's built up and I have set it to have a third bread third carrots and just over a third grilled potatoes and that'll be the food we will stop those being stored in here and that will be our that will take care of our food issues we're also going to increase our water tank now to a large water tank can we fit it in here we can and that will help come any droughts oh <laughs> that was timing wasn't it uh, okay We've got a drought coming but we don't really need to worry about it now I am going to extend this canal I wasn't going to but I do think we need to have a route coming out which is a bit of a nuisance because this is now in the way in fact hmm. yeah I think what we're going to have to do is oh you know what we'll, we'll just blow up some of the land yeah why not we'll just blow up some of this area and uh, and do it I'm going to I'm going to do that why not we have dynamite let's make ourselves use it uh, and so the river will come or the canal will extend down here I'll move this path come over down and then sort of run diagonally out getting slightly wider as we get to the mouth and I think that will stop the flooding that we we see sometimes I think what the flooding is is water rushing in and then suddenly having nowhere to go coming to a full stop um, but if it goes out we probably will prevent that I don't think oh look at that it's too far from the builders because it's on a ramp yeah quick set of stairs will fix that put the stairs I'll put the stairs there why not doesn't make any odds it's gonna to have to come down anyway okay so they'll do that this lot's producing wood and we're going to produce power uh, from the river here we're going to do that afterwards and we're going to have power wheels here working in their way down and then powering equipment that is on this plateau okay but before we do that we need to establish this district and get this set up we're just going to have four or so beavers maybe nine beavers over here they're not going to be doing much at the moment um, other than leveling this I'm going to take this down to this level here and that's all I need them to do at the moment so we'll create this district center and again work out what we're going to need in this district center we're going to need storage so we'll put a large warehouse 
we're going to need housing so we'll put a large house the housing is going to need stairs we're going to need a drop-off point and we're going to need water and ooh, we might as well make a large water tank for them and we'll put that like so that will do us temporarily <laughs> there's that word again now how are the beavers going to get up here that is a good question and one I haven't got an answer for yet I think what I'm going to do is they could, we could create a path up here and up here and up here and up here if we blow that out no, that, that's not going to work that's not going to work mm. maybe sending them up this way okay this is what we're going to do we're going to blow this out and blow this out and then we can put some stairs going up there the question is will my beavers reach that We're certainly going to need a stair there and we'll have to wait for that to be built what are you short of? Gears. So we're going to need to send a few gears over here as well. Right, so we've got this going now. If we put some dynamite there, we should be able to blow that down a level. Come on, Mr. Beaver. And boom. Okay. Now I don't think, oh, this isn't, ooh, this isn't going to work. Is it going to work? I don't think a beaver is going to be able to build the dynamite on the next level. We'll try it, but I don't think they can build too high. No, it's out of reach. Okay, what we can do is create temporary structures and build a, a platform there with a set of stairs on it there and in fact we don't need that set of stairs we just need a set of stairs there and if we bring <laughs> The path around. Oh, okay. We need to get up there somehow. Yeah, this is this is tricky, sort of traversing the um, traversing the landscape when you haven't got a village near <coughs> nearby. Excuse me. That will do it, though. They'll be able to build. They'll be able to build up there, they'll be able to stand on there and place that dynamite. Right, so, dynamite in place, let's detonate, and that's fantastic. So we can now uh, detonate the next one. Yeah, I'm a little bit behind here, but before we do that we need to place dynamite there which they should be able to do and there once they've done that we can take that down a level it's going to have to wait till tomorrow while we're waiting for the beavers to build that we can come over here and detonate this lot which is now giving us the route for our canal extension 
So what we're going to do is put our dynamite. We're going to have two by two up to there. And we're going to, um, uh, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to turn the corner sharply, I think. Yeah, so we'll come down to here and then we will build a two by two out over to here. I'll delete this path. We will have to blow that out and replace it with a bridge, but we can deal with that one later. And then we're going to bring our river canal down here and across. We'll get rid of that for now. In fact, we'll get rid of this whole path for now because we don't use this path at the moment. Uh, okay. Go down to there. I think we'll... Yep. Yeah, I want to get rid of that dynamite there. I think that will do. We'll wait for them to build that up. Meanwhile, over here, these two should be built up. So that and, um, and that. But hang on a sec. If I blow that, yes, then I can build the stairs. I was, oh, that's not blowing it. That's deleting it. That's how you waste dynamite. Yeah, once I've blown that, we can make the stairs up and that will be good. Back over here, are these out of range? No, we're just waiting for them to complete that task. Um, here, well, we'll have to we'll have to get rid of this lumberjack because that's going to be facing into the river. We'll put that lumberjack over over here. It's a little bit further away but he still covers a decentish area. Can't quite see under the trees how far out this area goes, but it doesn't matter. It is what it is. That can go, that can go, and we will put our two dynamite down just there. Okay, this lot are done, so we can blow that lot first of all. Uh, yes, we can blow that lot. And we can blow this lot. Uh, now, this lot's going to have to be deeper. Oh, and I didn't notice we're so far in a drought, we've dried up. Let's chuck some water in here. Quickly. Not paying attention there to these beavers. Again, we're not short of water. But I, I am going to move these because if I have these over here pumping out of this larger volume of water, then it's less likely they're going to um, drain this river. Okay, that floodgate's almost full. And we'll stop it there for now. Now the water will run out as far as here. 
and that's fine. Now we're going to have to blow this up, but this is quite a vital path at the moment, and although I'm going to put a nicer bridge there, for now we'll put some um, platforms as a bridge, just there, and make a temporary crossing. Once that's built, we can then blow this up, and it won't affect these lot delivering. And that's quite important because they're the ones bringing all the resources to keep this area alive, this district down south alive. Um, in fact, I'm going to extend that path one further and delete that as well so that when we put our bridge across it, uh, there's, there's a place to anchor it. OK, let's get it blown up first, though. That's critical. And dynamite, please. And I think I'm also going to build a dam. Um, do we want a dam here? We do, because we don't want the water just flowing out. That's fine. We'll build that, detonate that, and then build our bridge, which we haven't yet unlocked, which we'll do. And we can pop that there. And once that's built, we can take away that temporary structure. Over here, we are ready to blow this up, not to delete it. And that should finally give us our access up to here. And a bit of a wiggly... Oop, I won't have to build. Is that tree really in the way? There is, there's something there. Really? I can't build anything there. Hmm. I need to find a route. Districts must be... Oh, that's the problem. Ah. Right. Districts must be separated mm, by a gate. Money. Indeed they must. Are these lot delivering supplies over here? No. Why are they running around up here? What exactly are they doing? Oh, they're building this because it's part of the other district. Wait a second. How far does this district extend? Um, if we take this out of the district for a second and put a path in. How far does that extend? Almost to the water butt. OK, but if we put the water butt on the other side, then they will actually... they will actually build that for us. OK. Right, which is fine. I'm going to let them build that. Uh, and it saves the ones that we're going to move in there doing so. Right, this is all built up. We can now delete our temporary structure. Uh, let's try doing that a more efficient way. Like so. All right. Now, as soon as this is built, we can separate the district. We'll put a district gate in down here, separate this off and move some beavers into it. But that is all excitement we'll leave for next time. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out. And we'll see you next time in Timberborn. Bye now.